Before we start creating our first quotes and rental orders, we want to ensure that they are calculating the correct tax values against them. So if you are based in the UK, Australia, South Africa, or other countries that have a standard tax rate, this should already be set up in current RMS, and so you won't need to watch this video. So this video is more tailored to our users in the USA that need to set up their state and local taxes. Um, so if we head into system setup, which can be just found clicking your profile in the top right hand corner, we can scroll down to the taxation section here. And we have four sections that we need to fill in here. So let's start with organization tax classes at the top. So these are simply customer labels. So we have one called default here. What I'm going to do here, just to be clear with this, is I'm just going to put in brackets tax applied. So this is the label you will give to all of your customers that have tax applied to them. We may also want to create a new organization tax class for tax exempt. So if you are dealing with charities or other customers that you don't want to charge tax to, we've got that label ready to go. Okay, so once we have created organization tax classes, we then want to go ahead and do the same thing for product tax classes, because in some places you may charge tax on equipment, but not on labor, for example. So again, I'm going to change these labels to say tax applied, and then I'm going to create a new one for tax exempt. Okay, perfect. And then the third step here is to go ahead and set up your tax rates geographically. So if I click into tax rates, you can see here that I don't have any tax rates at the moment. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use New York as an example here. So first of all, let's go ahead and set up the New York state tax. So at the time of recording this video, that is 4%. So if I go to add tax rate in the top right hand corner, I can put New York state, set the state as New York here, and then the rate is 4% there. We don't need to put any zip code ranges in because this is covering the entire state of New York. Now that we have created the state rate, next up, I'm going to create two local rates. Um, so one for Manhattan and then one for a place called Albany. So Manhattan has a city county sales tax rate of 4.875%. So if I go to add tax rate here, what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, the Manhattan city county rate. That is still going to be within the state of New York. The rate is 4.875%. And then we are also going to enter in a zip code range here. So if I just type that in, Okay, perfect. So we have now created the Manhattan city county rate. And next up, we are also just going to create a Albany city county rate. So again, still within the state of New York. And this is going to have a different zip code range. And the rate for Albany is 4% there. Okay, perfect. So what this is eventually going to do is it's going to charge 4% to the whole of New York plus an additional 4.875% for those customers in Manhattan and an extra 4% for those that are in Albany. So now that we have set up our rates, before bringing everything together, it's important for us to tell the system how we want to calculate tax. So we can do this by going to system setup and heading down to preferences. Once we click into this, we can scroll down to our tax calculation settings. And the most important thing to focus on here is the tax calculation based on. So you can either have your tax calculation based on the delivery address of the rental order. You can have it based on the billing address of the customer that the rental order is against or based on the delivery, or delivery origin, which is just simply your address. So it will always use your headquarters to calculate tax when using the origin. So I'm going to make this delivery address. And once you're happy with that, 
go ahead and save the page. Okay, so we set up our preferences. And the final thing we need to do here is set up tax rules. Um, so if we scroll down back into system setup and back down to taxation, we then have tax rules. And this is where it's going to bring all of the labels and the rates together. So we can create a new tax rule in the top right hand corner. And we are going to create, first of all, the Manhattan rate. And so this does it from top to bottom. So just to talk you through this, when we create a rental order, it will look at the customer that the rental order is against. And the system will evaluate, is that customer taxable or are they tax exempt? So if the customer is taxable, it is then going to look at every line item on that rental order and what settings are against each line item. So once it finds a line item where tax is applied, it's then going to look at your settings. So is it is the tax calculation based on the delivery address or the billing address? And if it is a geographical match, um, it will then apply these rates here. So assuming that the customer has a delivery address in New York and the zip code is within Manhattan, it's then going to apply the 4% and that 4.875% for a total of 8.875%. Okay, so we've created the Manhattan rate. We then also just need to create the Albany rate. And this is where, again, if it's taxable, um, it's going to apply the New York state rate and the Albany rate there. Okay, so now that we have set those up, let's just go ahead and test those on a rental order. So that takes place in the opportunity section. We've got more videos coming up on how to create these, but I've already created one for Manhattan and Albany. If I just go into my Manhattan and I go ahead and just add an item, what you will see here is the charge total is $100 and it's applying that 8.875% tax there for Manhattan. And that is because the customer has a delivery address within that specific zip code range. If we then go to Albany and we do the same thing, we just go ahead and add on an item. You can see here that it's only applying 8% tax and that is because that customer is within the Albany zip code range. Okay, so that shows you how to set up different tax rules um, and if there's ever any questions you have on this, um, you can always pop up on the green help bubble um, or contact our team on help at current-rms.com and we will always be happy to provide assistance with this.